Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the Electric EO Wheel 5.1 and specifically an issue I've discovered uh, based on some feedback from some users with um, just this version and it's um, something that's easy to fix. So uh, I'll explain that in a little bit, but first I want to show what the problem is and sort of explain it and then I'll uh, explain to people how they can get their free replacement parts to, to solve the problem. Uh, but First off, what the problem is, so it doesn't happen on very many of the wheels, so I don't actually have one here that, that shows the problem. But really what's happening is this band, I switched to a different drive band, and it's, it's putting a little bit more tension on the motor than the previous ones. And what's happening is after spinning for a long time, people's motors are getting um, warm, or what they're, I'm gonna sort of simulate the problem. So if I add a lot of tension by holding things in place, uh, now it's not spinning and you're like, oh, what's wrong? And if you go back to the center and then go, it'll, it'll work again, but sometimes it'll stall out pretty quickly again after that. And people were thinking that, you know, something's wrong with their motor and that's not actually the case here. Before we look at it, I should unplug it. Um, what actually happens is inside these uh, circuits, I have a, uh, an auto resetting fuse and what's happening is when too much current goes through the motor um, the circuit board actually turns off the motor uh, for safety reasons and uh, then you have to set the dial back to neutral before it'll start spinning again so nothing's being damaged um, I mean you can there, there's absolutely you know there's you know I like I did, I'm simulating it here by holding it and then it does this. This isn't actually going to hurt anything. It's this is, the fuse is designed to do that. So it's not bad for the motor. It's not bad for the circuit board, but it is annoying if your wheel stops spinning after um, you know spinning for a while. So the fix is simply to use a different drive band, drive belt. So I'll show you, and I'm willing to send this part out for free to anyone who got an electric eel wheel 5.1. Um, so, uh, the best way to do that is just go to the dreaming robots, uh, dot com web store. And then at the bottom, there's a contact us link. And when you go there, you can type in, uh, a form that will come to my email and then I'll email you back so that we can set up a sending out replacement part as needed. So. Um, I'll send you a replacement drive belt if anybody wants one. They purchased an EO Wheel 5.1. And now I'll show you how easy it is to actually just replace it. So the cover will come off on the bottom. And replacing it, you just sort of wiggle this guy out. Now here we've got the new thinner one. And you just sort of wiggle it in there. And then what I typically will do is I'll uh, get it situated on the small pulley uh, that's on the motor. And I'll, I'll hold that belt in place with, with a finger while I sort of roll it onto the big pulley like this. So sometimes it gets a little caught up on these. Um, screws here and that's sort of what was happening before um, just try again and it'll slide on pretty easily like that so now I've got the new drive belt on and if we run it it actually runs a little bit quieter now um, and that's pretty good uh, it'll also put less stress on the motor um, you shouldn't have the um, circuit board sort of turning off. I'm unplugging it again. You shouldn't have the circuit board turning things off, which is all good. Um, one thing that people sometimes have problems with is they have um, noise, and that's oftentimes because this motor is either too far forward or too far back. And I'll sort of show what that is because that's um, a noise that people sometimes worry about. So um, it doesn't always happen, but here, if I move the motor far enough, it should start making that noise. 
So there, now we're kind of getting that scraping noise. It doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does. Here, let me push the motor even further out of alignment and see. You go too far out of alignment and it'll um, actually pop off the drive band. But there, now it's, it's, it's making extra scraping noises. So the solution to that is to get these belts aligned and if you're looking at them in person, it's a lot easier to do than it is to show on this video. But um, basically, you need to move the motor until things are uh, lined up. And you can kind of do that by looking through the bottom or at the side, um, whichever your preferred method is, until things are, are pretty lined up. And then once you've done that, it'll be a little bit quieter, which is good. Um, if there's a tiny bit of knocking like that, that's just kind of normal. Uh, because we are using a bushing system, things aren't perfectly quiet. Uh, they're just going to be little noises here and there uh, because we're not using ball bearings throughout the system. But that's, that's done to save cost, and that's one of the reasons uh, this spinning wheel is, you know, a quarter the price of a lot of electric spinning wheels on the market. Uh, so we've got that. Another thing people have been asking me on the 5.1 is how much tension do I need and how do I um, set up the tension band? So with the new bobbins, uh, the tension band just goes right here on the top of the uh, bobbin. So that's pretty simple. And then how much tension? Not much, you do not need much. So this is no tension. That's that You need some tension or this band will fall off. Um, but you know, I'm just turning a, a tiny bit and that's that's a good amount of tension to start with And then if you don't feel enough uptake you can add a little more tension But start with very small amounts of tension and then increase from there uh, What else have people been asking about sometimes people will see that their wheel has a little wobble or, or knock and uh, if I put these um, hooks way on opposite ends that can cause a knock so there so it's sort of you can definitely see that problem and the way to completely get rid of the knocking is to balance the flyer by keeping the hooks exactly opposite from one another like that but I generally find that if this is the hook I have the yarn going on if I just set this one to the middle and then um, this one can actually go you know the full range without much of a problem there's a tiny bit there but you know I, I'd, I'd say that's acceptable and then you go to the other end and it still still works so if you're seeing knocking um, like things are vibrating definitely start with the hooks directly across from each other um, but then once you've identified that that fixes it by putting the hook you're not using in the middle of the glide bar that uh, should help um, prevent it without having to move two hooks every time you want to move one. Uh, and I think that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to say. So overall, uh, people have really been liking the electric eel wheel uh, five. And um, as always, I'm keeping an eye out for ways to improve it. So if people have any ideas on on things they'd like to see improved, definitely uh, let me know. But um, I'm really quite happy with this version, especially once I got this new uh, drive belt on. I, I should have done more testing, but I got the new drive belt and I didn't do as much testing with that belt as I, I probably should have. And it, it only happens on, you know, the real problem only shows up on a small portion of the wheels. So I didn't notice it, but um, we've got it fixed now and I'm, I'm happy to friend, send out free uh, replacement drive belts to anybody who, who wants them. So thanks for watching.